child of God, you're welcome. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. And thank you so much for stopping by. <clears throat> I feel happy to be in a position to bring you this word. I feel happy. Because, you know, I have always known this word. Today, God gave me in a dynamic way. And this is not just a prophetic word for you, but this word has ministered to me greatly. This word has spoken to me. You know, there are things you know, and when God resounds it again in your spirit, it comes with a lot of um, assurance and a lot of certainty. Yes, and the devil does not want you to know this. They are going to, they will not even let you watch this video because this is going to be your deliverance. They will not even let you assimilate or maybe even if you get to watch the video, they are going to plant doubt in your heart. They are going to make you feel like this is some kind of manipulation. It is not happening. It is not true just to cheat you. So when the Lord was ministering to me, I took out time to write down key points so that I do not forget, even for myself, because um, there is there is a fulfillment you get in giving that makes you forget certain benefits. I, for one, I feel so fulfilled each time I'm able to help someone. I feel so happy and I think it's just about the feeling I get when I get to do that. But it is not just about the feeling I get, it's about what God even does when I get to do that. When you help someone, God is telling me to tell someone today, when you help someone become, when you help someone with your gift, you help someone with your talent, you help someone become that which God had created them to be. You yourself, God pulls you closer and closer to where you are you are meant to be. When you help someone to discover who they are, when you have to, when you help someone to discover their gift, you help someone to discover their talent, it pulls you closer and closer to you yourself also discovering your talent. The Bible does not fail. God speaking, he says, every word will pass away, but not a dot of my word. There is a principle in the Bible where God says you are going to reap what you sow. It is in everything. If you help someone become, God will help you. There is a winner, there is a winner's um, slang, there is a winner's quote. There is a witness quote that says, what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. That is a witness quote. It means if you help people to achieve their dreams, God himself will assist you to in achieving your dreams. If you help people to make their lives be colorful, God is going to himself personally be responsible to making your life colorful. The Bible says that when Job prayed for his friends, God turned again his captivity. When Job prayed for his friends, God turned his captivity. It is a power that is in intercession. It is a power that is in helping people. The power, so many of us, we only concentrate on us. You are all about you. When you are praying, it's all about you. When whatever, I mean, of course, every every human has the, the 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 tendency to be selfish. But whenever you are selfish, whenever you think of you, you limit yourself. Whenever you are selfish, whenever you think just of yourself, you limit yourself. That is why God doesn't play with intercession. Whenever you intercede for someone. God does not only answer that person's prayer, but God blesses you too. Job went through a very difficult time, but it was his intercession that facilitated or that accelerated the deliverance of God upon his life. You know, 
The story of the widow in the Bible, the widow of Zarephath, it's a typical example of this. The widow of Zarephath, she was going through a serious, I mean, there was a serious famine in the land. There was a serious famine and they had ex exhausted all their food and everything they had. And she just had a little flour left, a little more flour left. And the plan was that she was going to eat of this and she and her child, they were, they were going to die. Not because the flour contained poison, but because it was the last. And after that, there was no more means of getting more food. So she was certain that was their last meal. But when God saw that and God wanted to help her not to die in the famine, God sent a prophet to her. And what was the principle? What was the cheat code? What was she supposed to do? She was supposed to give or share the little she had with the prophet. Sometimes I, 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 when I, God made this very clear to me, I was like, why would God pass through that route? Why would God not just multiply the woman? He is the Alpha and the Omega. He can do everything. God is a God of principles. God is a God of seed time and harvest. God is a God of what you sow is what you reap. If you are going to get anything, you have to be able to give. When we say giving, people always think about giving money, giving. No, you give your time, you give your resources, you help people discover their talents, you help people discover their ability, you intercede. When you intercede for people, that is giving. You're giving yourself. And so God will let this widow give to the prophet before she'll be able. And immediately, you know, she, thank God. The prophet was resilient. Thank God the prophet was not moved by the fact she is a widow. When she told the prophet, this is all we have. How do you expect me to give you? The prophet said, it's okay, still give me. <laughs> I mean, the prophet's resilience helped in getting her to get, to get what God had had um <clears throat> what God had in store for her. I'm just trying to read what God gave me here. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 8. It says, Knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord. Whatever good thing any man doeth, the same is going to receive from the Lord. Giving is a cheat code. Whenever you give, you make yourself susceptible to answers whenever you give you make yourself um open to receive answers open to receive solution to your problems whenever you give you make yourself open to receive a solution to your problems like i said number one the devil will not make, want you to see this video secondly the devil wants you to judge and criticize every word you are hearing from here right now and give you reasons why this is not true but i pray that god will use this to minister to the heart of someone i pray that this is going to be your deliverance. Someone is going to hear this word and run with it. Someone will hear this word and believe in it and act upon it. And as you begin to act upon it, I pray that God will confirm this word in your life speedily. God will confirm to you that this word is true speedily. I pray for speedy response. I pray for speedy answers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? Please um, let me know in the comment section how it resonates with you. If this word was a confirmation, if it did bless you in any form, I'll be waiting to read from you. God bless you mightily. Shalom.